Well, good morning. You know what? I slept in. I did. What time? 20 after 9. I imagine that. I must have been very tired. Ooh. Sorry, I guess I'm still tired. Well, I have been using my iPod. Now, on my iPod, there is FaceTime. And if you have an iPod or an iPhone or an iPad, and you send me your email address, I can FaceTime you and we can chat. Wouldn't that be fun? It would be so much fun. I know some of you have iDevices, but that would be so much fun. Um, I had something to say. I should put in my teeth. There. That's better. So, um, it frosted last night again. But it's up to ten. It's nine, nine, whatever. I really slept a long time. I must have been tired. So yesterday we went to my son's house, Benji boy, and he showed us his hydroponics. And somebody just commented that you can do that with water, with the five gallon pail water, and styrofoam. That's an interesting thought. I don't know why you would want to do any of that instead of use dirt. I guess you can do it in the house then. Oh well. So, um, because it's frosted, the leaves are changing. Want to see the leaves changing? And we have some very beautiful leaves out here. And did you know, when it frosts, in the morning, as soon as the sunshine hits the leaf, if it's frosted the night before and it's turned color, they'll fall off. I mean, if it's time. And if that frost happens at night and you get up in the morning and you wait and when you see the sun hitting the leaves, you can sit there and you can watch all the leaves go down. It's really fun. Doesn't it sound like fun? It is. It's really fun. It's exciting entertainment. Free entertainment. And you don't have to do anything for it. You just go outside. So I guess I have to wear black, black again if it frosted last night. Out of respect for the dead. Willem didn't like me wearing all black yesterday. He was embarrassed to be with me when I was wearing all black. Black hat, black top, and black pants. Um, he, I do, guess he doesn't realize that lots of people wear all black. Black, 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 black. But anyway. So my little Elida is going to have a baby. Going to have a baby in March. So I've been going through the the the, the photo albums, and I've been photographing the baby, the young baby pictures, and sending them to her. She'll like seeing all those baby pictures. Ah, well, it's a new day. So what are you going to do today? You know what I have my iPad telling me because I have a very bad memory, or maybe I just don't care, but. At my, I have my iPod telling me what to do on a daily basis, and it gives me um, it gives me reminders. So one thing I I like to do is dance. Do you like to dance? I like to dance. So Willem loves to play the piano, and did you realize that you can dance to Beethoven? <laughs> you can or Bach or what's that other guy you play? I can't remember his name. Um, has a f Mio. Yeah, he plays Mio, and I can dance to Mio. 
it sounds like Milhoud is the way it's written. Mio is the way it's pronounced. I don't ask me why. So I have it my iPod reminding me at eight o'clock at night to dance. And so I did it one night. Last night I was in the car or over at Ben's and so we didn't do it last night. I also have it reminding me when to say my prayers and when to have family home evening. It used to be easy to have family home evening when I had a family of kids all over the place. I used to do that. They liked it. Now I don't like it now and they remember it. Ooh, I don't like it. But they had fun. They would they would like to play that. They always would play Huckle Buckle Beanstalk. Remember, you know what Huckle Buckle Beanstalk is? Where you hide something and you have just a little tiny bit of it showing. And everybody's in another room when you're hiding it. And then they all come in and then the first one to find it says, Huckle Buckle Beanstalk! It's a really good game to play with men because you know how men are if they if it's not where you told them it was they it doesn't exist if it's on the left hand side of the shelf in the in the refrigerator if you told them it was on the left but actually it's in the middle they'll come back and say it's not there and they will be defiant it is not there but then if you go look with them and it's in the middle oh well it's in the middle well, it wasn't on the left side of the shelf well no wonder I couldn't find it so it wasn't there it's really true Anyway, so Huckle Buckle Beanstalk could be a good game for your husband to help him find something. And only he, need, he only needs to see a little tiny corner of it. We used to hide a clothespin. You could hide things all kinds of places. You know, you have them over the, up in the light shade or in between the books and, I don't know, on the floor and in between the, in between the, cushions in the living room couch and in between the stack of newspapers. You have to be able to see a little tiny corner of it. Anyway, we used to play that every week on Family Home Evening. That's a good game to play if you kind of don't know what to do anyway. You know, you go visit somebody, it's sort of boring, like, here we are visiting. Well, I like visiting with you, but we really don't have anything to say and it's probably boring for you that we're here, but hey, we can play for Hucklebuckle Beanstalk. You want to play Hucklebuckle Beanstalk? You can hide anything. So anyway, so my lapped, my iPod is now giving me reminders for everything. It reminds me to pray. It reminds me to read my scriptures. And so this is at a certain time of day. And so I have to, and then it's got another a reminder like 15 minutes ahead and then five minutes ahead. So it's like, you've got to remember it. I didn't just say this so that you would forget later. And it reminds me, I have a day set to do pottery and they set to make a basket and it's a repeating thing every week and to go to Mira and go to the dump and go to church and so all these things are repeating on my iPod the alerts and to go to the temple some of the alerts are two days before so I can gear up for it like oh yeah we're going to do that mm. Anyway, so I guess you need to know all these things. So now you go out and you have a wonderful day. Make someone smile. If it's raining, you be the sunshine. And if you start having negative thoughts that are dragging you down, you start figuring out something negative. Now why did that happen now? What was I feeling? And you can sing a little hymn. As soon as you notice a negative thought, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. See, and every time you think a negative thought, uh, maybe if you're feeling like you're victimized or your life is not any good or whatever, you know, you can sing that song and it reminds you that you are loved, that you are good. So don't let those negative thoughts get to you. It's a beautiful day, even if it's raining and dreary and dark and yucky outside. Take some vitamin D3 and smile. If you don't feel like smiling, stick a pen in your mouth. I wouldn't keep your finger in your mouth long. Because you'll find you can't do anything. But after you do that, you'll end up smiling. 
if you look in the mirror and you think, oh my gosh, who's that old woman looking back? You stick a pen in your mouth and you'll look, you smile. It makes you look really nice. All right, well, that's a, that is everything I have in my head. I've told it all to you. Except that I have a uh, sniffle I want to go. <sighs> but I can't do that on video. <laughs> okay, bye.